Images are very powerful in our culture. And that's because they're, they're ubiquitous. We see them everywhere. And so we ascribe a certain truth value to them. We assume a certain amount of authenticity when we are looking at an image. So when something like this happens, with this is uh, Adnan Hajj, essentially he faked some images um, in a Beirut conflict. He took a, uh, an image of an explosion inside of the city and he took and he, uh, he duplicated the plume of smoke. And in fact, he did a really poor job of it. So poor, in fact, that he totally got busted for it. Now, uh, if as a student you ever turned in this as a Photoshop project, I think that it would, you know, I would, we would def definitely have to comment on the amateur nature of it. But as a journalist, as somebody who is trying to uh, tell a story or reflect some semblance of truth, we expect that images are taken from the environment and that they're not modified. And so when you look at the newspaper, you expect that either the image says, hey, this was modified, or the image is an attempt to represent the actual truth. Pablo Picasso said, we all know that art is not the truth. Art is a lie that makes us realize the truth. And uh, what he meant by this, what he was talking about, is, uh, is exemplified in his painting, uh, Guernica. Now, in the Spanish Civil War in 1937, uh, the Germans bombed a city in the Basque territory of Spain. Um, and now, this was not a point in time when, the, when there was a lot of visual media, but this painting was created to reflect the, the passion and the, the pain and the terror that happened at that point in time. And if you look at it, it's not a realistic depiction. It is, you know, you see bodies there, you see, um, you know, human forms, but they're not, it's not realistic. But when you look closely at it, you see something that's much more significant. You see the pain, you see the emotion, uh, you see the chaos, you see the terror that was involved with it. And this is what Picasso is talking about. The painting does not show the truth. It doesn't, it's not like a news photo of the event. It's not like a film or a video of it. It's, but it is a, an accurate representation of the emotional impact of this on the people who live through it. Now, so what is truth? I mean, and what is real? Um, to understand this, we can go to epistemology, which is a study of what knowledge is. And by looking at epistemology, we know that knowledge is sort of the intersection of truth and belief. So something has to be both true and you have to believe it for it to be knowledge. Now, like sort of moving on, moving forward from that, let's look at some imagery. And let's look at the way that it's constructed. And sometimes it's very playful, as in the case of this computer sort of layered image where you sort of wonder, is it like, are we seeing through this? I mean, what is, what is this about? And it's, it's sort of clever. Or in the case of this, this house that's uh, attached to, the, uh, to a building. Again, like um, this is, again, a fabrication and is the image fabricated or is the object like this? Now, in this case, the object is actually built. Or in the case of this cloud here, where it's a question of just the perspective. Um, the cloud looks like it's sitting on the ice cream cone, but that's just because the depth of field of the camera is wide enough to show the person in the foreground and the cloud in the background. Uh, when we start to deal with like sort of the tropes of our society, uh, we look at advertising and we look at sort of like taking and bending these things. And this one is actually like based off of a Photoshop contest to exhibit uh, unsuccessful breakfast cereals. And, um, and you see how this is like sort of like engaged like the public. Uh, these Photoshop contests, uh, both on FARC.com and Worth a Thousand, have, uh, have spread like wildfire. And they're like really very popular. 
or this image. And this image is a construct. It's a constructed image. And it's obviously fake on some level. Um, but again, you question, is it the, was it the fabrication? Was it the construction? Was it the way that the image was made? What is it that is real and what is it that is fake? And also we have like sort of uh, this image here, which is, um, which is really problematic. I mean, you look at it and you see that the surface of the building is melting and it looks very much like a Photoshop filter. But when you look closely, you see that the people on the trees are just fine. It's actually on the surface of the building that this image is manipulated. Or in this case, where it's a combination of two forms of transportation. And this is just totally a Photoshop job. But uh, the Photoshop job is created in such a way that it, that it makes the boat really very much blend into the idea of the underground. And this sort of combination of two forms of transportation, the, the underground tunnels fit really well with the gondola from perhaps from Venice.